Hey guys, Joe from JM Concrete here. So this week we are doing a 650 square foot back patio with a little stoop on the side of the house. Um, this one's a little bit complicated. It's gonna be curved all the way around. We're following multiple points for our levels. One area is gonna be uh, thickened for a hot tub. Uh, but apart from that, thanks for clicking on the video. Stick around for the excavation, the framing, laying the rebar, my favorite part, the pouring. Uh, and we will see you then guys. Thanks, have a great day. So you can see in the picture here, I mean in the video, that we're using the polymata forms. The one thing I don't like about them when you first start framing with them, um, they tend to want to stay in a straight shape. So it takes some working with them and it isn't until the next day that you get these like sharp little bends that kind of get worked out of them as the plastic uh, forms to the shape you're trying to get into. Uh, when I first started using them, it started driving me crazy how I couldn't get them into the shape I wanted till I noticed that just get them close to where you need them and then you let them sit for a day and eventually when you come back the next day, uh, the plastic or the polyurethane, whatever it's made out of, will shape into exactly what you're needing. Um, and that's one good thing to know when you're working with these. It makes the job easier, but if you don't know how they act, it might actually drive you nuts the first couple times that uh, when you end up using them. One benefit of uh, using the rebar grid that I learned a little bit down the road is when you're doing jobs like this that are round in shape, it's a lot easier to figure out the volume of concrete you need because you got all these tiny squares after you tie your rebar that are two feet by two feet pretty close I guess and you can divide it up pretty evenly that way you're not wasting a whole bunch of concrete because if you go by the 
a point that's furthest out by the width, you'll end up wasting a lot of concrete in the corners of these round shapes. But that's just another benefit to the rebar grid that wasn't even intended. Right, guys so everything's good to go we got the rebar in frame compacted the soil is wicked hard the guys who installed this wall right there they compacted the hell out of this area they did a great job I mean it's greenscapes landscapes one of our best customers they do great work but there it is you'll see with the shape of the rebar where it's deeper this whole area where the tub's gonna be is gonna be thicker everything else is about a uh, three and a half four inches we got a rebar in, got our chairs in, but there it is, guys. Um, the framing was actually pretty easy using these polyforms. We just kind of set them out and they really got into a place where we needed them pretty well. Um, apart from that, I will see you guys at the pour and hopefully everything goes well. I think this will be the last job we're not going to cover because tomorrow night, not freezing night after that, like 40. So it'll be good, but there it is, guys. Take a look. Hopefully it comes out well. And then over there is that little stoop we're gonna be doing, but see you at the poor guys.
Hey guys, how's it going? Four went well. Concrete showed up a little late on the first truck, really late on the second, but it was really cool so we didn't get a cold joint. Little step, stoop came out really nice. They're gonna be doing some uh, stone steps, one, two, three, down this way with those big old blocks right there. So it's gonna look really, really nice. The pour down here went amazing. I'm especially happy about the, how the joint layout came out. So everyone always asks why I'm on the outside watching the job, making sure I don't miss any details. So in that spot there, that area, since it's a landing, the steps is level. And I had checked everything, but I didn't realize that in that little area, that little corner right there, it was a little bit of slope, but not enough. So from this corner down to here, I ended up taking a little bit of concrete off and doing a little swell to draw it away. And I noticed that while sitting here watching, just eyeballing everything. So that's why I keep an eye on everything. But I mean, there it is, guys. Take a look. There it is, guys. The broom was a little funky, to be honest. I think it was the fiber. It was picking up a lot of clumps, so we're gonna have to sweep those off tomorrow. But apart from that, it came out real good. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Leave us a like, subscribe. Next week, we're doing something a little bit more simple. 17 by 12 entryway to a business. Nothing too crazy like this, but I'm glad you guys take a look. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, guys. Bye.